Hello, everybody, and welcome to NASL's News of the Week. I am Andre Gritor Pankshaw. And I am Justin the Gunner Ignacio, and we're here to bring you all of the things that have been going on throughout the week and all the things you should know. So this week in the community, we have Sheth and Destiny raising over $30,000 in uh, proceeds for Doctors Without Borders. They stream for 24 hours straight. And uh, yeah, Twitch TV went and matched their ad revenue, summing up to a several thousand. And yeah, they sh are sh certainly going to be very happy there at Doctors Without Borders. Uh, following up with that is Barcraft. And there were a couple places throughout the country which celebrated the NSL Season 1 opening day at a bar um, with Barcraft. Um, DC, Seattle, and Dallas all hosting their own event. Also, I believe there was one in San Francisco too. And Barcraft is sure a fun thing to go and do. If you're near one in your area, please go and check that out. Blizzard has just announced that they have reconsidered a proposed change where Neural Parasite no longer affected massive units. Instead, they've opened the lesson in the range from 9 to 7. In an unprecedented move, Blizzard has not decided to implement this change into the PTR, but directly into the game. Gretorp, your thoughts? Well, two things. I first want to start on the first change, the 9 to 7 that we have seen. That is a quite a dramatic amount of area that you have been reduced. It's almost 40% reduction in the total area that you can grab. Of course, if you uh, just square everything out, do the, the math to it, of course, I've already done that for you. So 40% decrease, that's a huge amount of area that you're no longer able to affect. On top of that, Blizzard doing it without putting into the PTR, it really is weird because Normally, the PTR is able to get you a lot of statistical data. It gives you that evidence that, hey, this is an okay change. We're not seeing that anymore. We're just going to do a dry run. I don't know if this is the best decision. I don't know necessarily if Neural Parasite even needed that nerf e either. Um, you know, I guess time will tell. We'll see if it really matters when it comes down to it. This week in tournament news, we have a lot going on. First and foremost is going to be the GSL Code A. The GSL Code A is going to be happening September 19th and it's going to be running throughout the entire weekend. We have a lot of foreigners actually competing in this GSL. The players will be a select Sho, Sase, Naniwa, and Hiro. All of those players will be playing their hearts out for that GSL Code A Finals. You can find out more information at www.gomtv.net. That's where you can find exactly when they're going to be playing, so you can root and cheer for your favorite players. In other news, we do have the IPL qualifiers number three that finished up. And wouldn't you know it, Stefano is the one that's actually going to come out of that. Stefano was able to take out some powerhouse players. Those players include Sake, Revival, Kiwi Kaki, MMA, and last but not least is Puzzle. So some huge Koreans and top foreigners that Stefano was able to take out. You can find out more information at www.ign.com slash pro league. DreamHack Valencia Invitational has just went on this weekend and a lot of amazing matches have gone on. Again, if you haven't already check it out right now the VODs are up DreamHack always one of the best tournament organizers you should definitely check out all the matches that went on because there were some sick sick players coming out of there Collegiate Star League just started up this week and they have over 320 schools including 7,000 registered members fighting for that prestigious CSL title for more information you can go to cstarleague.com and see if your school is entered and ready to play Last but not least, we have the Ghost of Coaching Premier League that has started its week number five. Go check it out. A lot of great matches are coming down there, along with amazing, amazing teams. If you haven't already heard, it's going to be Complexity, Mouse, Empire, Liquid, Dignitas, EG, Fnatic, and Six Jacks. For more information, you can go to www.ghostofcoaching.com. And this week in NASL news, we had a lot going on for you. We had our kickoff week, and might I say it was pretty awesome. So do check that out if you haven't already at www.nasl.tv. A lot of new players coming into this. We have players such as Huck, Jinro. We also had Hero and other players such as Lowly, Night End. All these new players coming in. Always great to see that fresh blood along with our old players, Select, Sen, Ret, other players like that. So check all the players out. You can find out more information again at www.nasl.tv. Also, 
NASL is very proud to announce that we have recently added Kingston HyperX as one of our sponsors joining up with Azo, our monitor sponsors, and also iBuyPower, our computer sponsors. Huge thanks to them. Please go visit them, check them out, because they have been supporting esports for so long. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's going to do it for NASL's News of the Week. Tune in next week when we have our second edition. But till then, I'm Andre Greatrop Hangshua. And I'm Justin Zagunron Ignacio. And I'll be catching you next time around.